Hi everybody, it's Elizabeth with the Noonan Carnegie Library and today we're going to be making DIY concrete candle holders with Crafting with Elizabeth. Thank you so much for joining me for today's craft. So for this craft we're going to be using um, standard concrete and this came with gravel mixed in it so I didn't find any that didn't have the gravel mixed in it so I just sifted the gravel out used that for a whole other project and we're going to be using the cups that come with Yoplait's Wee Yogurt and I've got some styrofoam cups. These came from Chick-fil-A, the coffee cups, that we're gonna use as the base for our candle holders. That's where the concrete's gonna go. And we're gonna mix our concrete just with some plain water, uh, about a one-to-one -one mixture, and you want it to end up being about the same consistency as oatmeal when you mix it. So I'll show you what that's gonna look like. too thin when you've got it mixed, go ahead and add more concrete until it gets to the consistency that you want it to be. Assistant Hobbs, she's a little curious about what's going on here. Okay, so that's what we've got then, is the consistency of oatmeal. So you want it to be kind of thick, but not too terribly thick. And definitely not too thin, it'll take forever to dry. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put just a little bit more in there. It's almost like mixing bread dough. The bread dough is too sticky. You want to add a little extra flour to make it a little less sticky. There we go. I think we're about where we want to be. So that's about what you're looking for. just going to fill these about two-thirds of the way up because we want them to be wide enough at the top for the base so you don't want that to go too far down in to hold those those glass wheat cups and these are going to make some very nice candle holders kind of get your air bubbles out do that. You want them all to be about the same amount. Oops, some on the work table. Don't work on a surface that you want to protect because you don't want to mess it up. This is my own work table that I use for all these kind of crafts. Looks like I'm gonna have to use a little bit more concrete.
I mix this in a stainless steel bowl because that'll make it easier for me to clean out later. Do not pour this down your drain. Clean this out into a trash can. those about even. What we're going to do is give them all a good shake, get the bubbles settled, get the top surface flattened. Make sure you don't have too many air bubbles in there. going to do is press these jars down in and you want to press them down in good because they're going to be a permanent part of our candle holders. And you want to settle that concrete around inside so you're going to want that to be kind of even and you're going to want the top edge of the concrete to be flat so you're going to keep giving it a little jiggle. Do the same thing with the other two. Try to make them kind of the same height. Get those edges flattened. This is quick dry concrete, so it shouldn't take it terribly long to dry, a couple of hours probably. So once I've got those where I want them, got my edges all nice and even, I'm going to let them sit and dry, and I'm going to clean up my little bit of mess here while that's doing that. All right. So I'm going to clean up, let these dry, and then we will come back and see where we are. Okay, so I've let these dry for several hours, and now we're going to try to peel away the styrofoam and see how they look. to 
get a butter knife or something to help with the peeling. Generally speaking, this will come right off. So I'm going to leave my edges rough. Now you can always sand the edges if you want to. I like that little bit of rough industrial look to it. You can also paint it halfway down if you wanted to. You can do it at an angle. The great thing about these is you can do almost anything with them. And you're only limited on your shapes based on what containers you use to put your concrete in. And you can use... Um, you can use baking cups, you can use bowls, plastic bowls that you get from the Dollar General, anything like that really. There we go. I like the styrofoam because it peels right off. If you use plastic bowls, you can put a little oil or a little uh, baking spray into them to make the removal of the concrete easier when you get ready to do that. And they'll pull right out of plastic. You can use stainless steel. It'll pull right out of stainless steel bowls, like the one I mixed the concrete in earlier. Like I said, you can sand that top edge to make it nice and smooth, or you can leave it rough. I kind of like that rough look myself, just because I like it to have that industrial edge to it. And I've got some little stones that I'm going to pour in. The great thing about this is you can add any decorative element to it that you want. You can also add elements that will make things smell good. So if you've got coffee beans and you put those in there and then you use real wax candles, the warmth from the candles will make the coffee beans smell really good. using artificial candles because I have cats and because when I put these on a shelf I'm probably going to put them on a bookshelf and since they'll be near books I don't want the real flames to be live. And that is our DIY industrial concrete candle holders. I like how they turned out. Thank you so much for joining me for this craft and don't uh, be sure to check our Facebook page and also our NoonanCarnegie.com website for more videos and other resources. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody.